All right, uh, so I thought I'd add one more uh, thing to my uh, microphone breadboard, which is an audio output. I mean, not an audio output, but an amplified output. So I can hook it up to a speaker to listen to things. And uh, I found these on eBay for $1.40, free shipping. So $1.40, $1.4. <laughs> uh, free shipping. Um, and they're an audio amplifier. It's a uh, LM386 uh, volume adjust, uh, bypass capacitor, uh, nice terminal block to hook up to your speaker, a uh, little connector, $1.40. I mean, I, I, you can't buy the parts for that, um, plus free shipping. I mean, uh, I don't know how they do it. It's like magic. Anyway, let me show you what I did. Uh, I bought a couple of them. Um, so I've added it to the, uh, I've added it to the breadboard here. Kind of has some wings sticking out to maximize the amount of area on the board. But I have, uh, I have now an audio amplifier. I added a nice big uh, bypass capacitor right next to it because I figured it'd be humping some current. Uh, this is, I think, a 220 microfarad capacitor. So that'll buffer things from the rest of the circuit. And uh, I did, I uh, did wire it up for 12 volts, so it'll operate there. And um, yeah, so I could just bring over an input and hook this up to a speaker and uh, be able to listen to things. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's give it a try. Um, let's see, this out of the way. Oh, by the way, that's my little battery out of that battery pack, and I put a LiPo charger on it. And it seems like it's a healthy battery, so uh, put that off to the side. All right, um, so we have our uh, amplifier, and I decided to pull out the uh, pull out the red speaker, and uh, we'll hook it up and input some audio. I have a uh, oh, I can go up there. I have a uh, function generator. Uh, that one right in the middle, it's set to uh, 450 hertz right now, and we will hook it up. Ooh, I think you can hear that. Uh, there's a volume adjust. Oh. Looks like there's some static on that. Oop. So I don't know what that's all about, but let's uh, see what other frequencies we can get out of this thing. I think we're putting a low signal into it. That seems to be working okay. Very good audio. That's a sweep, uh, sweep on the uh, on the generator. Let's see, let's go up here. Can we zoom in any further? No, that's all we can zoom in. Uh, there's a frequency adjust and there's a sweep. You can adjust the width of the sweep. It's kind of obnoxious. And then there's a, a sweep rate. Anyway, it's kind of fun. So anyway, we have some way of getting vol uh, getting a. Uh, audio out. It's not the greatest uh, greatest amplifier, but it's just a kind of a self, uh, quick self-check for things. One of my viewers asked a question on a different video. I did a video on this uh, uh, <laughs> speaker that uh, seems to maybe be a predecessor to Bose. Anyway, um, they were asking what the impedance was on the, on the, uh, on the speaker because it's not marked anywhere. 
it's pretty strange that it's not marked. So I've just hooked up a uh, ohm meter to the to the speaker, and it is measuring eight ohms. So there you go, eight point zero seven. Pretty accurate for an eight ohm speaker. <laughs> anyway, it's eight ohms.